the San Francisco 49ers. And this franchise probably took the biggest hit out of any other team this past week with all of the injuries. I mean, you talk about the superstar cornerstone defensive end and Nick Bosa out for the season with another torn ACL. Seven torn ACLs in week two. According to Adam Schefter, like he mentioned on Monday Night Football, he has never seen anything like that in a very, very long time with seven players tearing their ACL in one, one day. Not just one week, one day. Ridiculous to think about. But Nick Bosa is that biggest name, and that defense is going to suffer. All of a sudden, you got to think to yourself, with him out and then Sherman potentially being out for another couple more weeks, is this team the, the, the best defense in the NFL? Right now, that title belongs to the Baltimore Ravens, but are they even con contenders to be a top five, maybe even top 10 defense in the NFL? I mean, if you look at the, the run game and the passing game as well, they've been getting... I want to say torn up. They still have flashes of being a decent defense, but they've been giving up some plays that they usually wouldn't be given up in 2019. So this defense has taken a hit, got rid of DeForest Buckner as well on that line. And man, Solomon Thomas as well. Another torn ACL. Goodness. I, I don't think this defensive line or this San Francisco defense is going to be the same. And for you guys that do play fantasy football, don't be scared if you have a player that's established and is good, but you're like, oh man, they're facing the 49ers though. Hey, don't be afraid. Don't be afraid to start that player. So Nick Bosa, Solomon Thomas, this is going to be a, a big hit to the 49ers team. Are they going to get back to that Super Bowl status that they were a couple years ago? Probably not. Will they make the playoffs? That remains to be seen. With someone like Nick Bosa or Solomon Thomas out on that defense, you could argue, okay, well, maybe the offense can carry this this team. Not so much. With Raheem Moster and Tevin Coleman, their top two running backs out as well, that's a big hurt as well. Moster, a minimum of one to two weeks. Most, uh, mo More than likely, he's not going to be playing against the New York Giants. And instead, the ball is going to be given to Jarek McKinnon and Jeff Wilson because Tevin Coleman... Suffered a worse injury than Raheem Mostert. He had a knee injury, and he's going to be out for minimum four weeks, already placed on IR. So that's a big step to ask for that uh, San Francisco running backs the next up with Jared McKinnon and Jeff Wilson, which McKinnon has been looking great and might not even skip a beat, the, the 49ers offense, at least behind that offensive line. But Mostert is obviously the most talented back in that 49ers offense. And it makes a big difference as far as having a talent like that out of the game. And you got to rely on your third and fourth string. So remains to be seen. Jarek McKinnon, good talent, has definitely earned the right to uh, play more snaps with the way he's been playing, especially in the receiving game. But that's that's definitely a, a big hit when you, when you lose your top two running backs. George Kittle is still recovering uh, from a left knee sprain. And what Kyle Shanahan said about him is that he wants to wait until Kittle has the opportunity to play it on natural grass instead of turf so that it won't be that much pressure and that much uh, intensity on that knee and he can recover better. So could he play this week against the New York Giants physically? Yes, possibly. But is he going to be forced out there because of the lack of natural grass on that field? Shanahan would rather just wait and look ahead at the season in the long run and make sure that Kittle is fully healthy because, hey, they're perfectly fine with Jordan Reed. Seven receptions, 50 yards, and two touchdowns out of that guy. Where did he come from? But they're going to be waiting for that. So Jimmy Garoppolo is another one of those guys that he wants to wait on potentially playing on natural grass because his injury is a high right ankle sprain. And the reason why that's so important and critical is because if it was a left uh, ankle sprain and not his right foot, then he might be projected to come back maybe a week sooner than usual. But because it is his right ankle and his planting foot because he's right-handed, so whenever he takes a snap out of the shotgun or even out of center especially, a lot of pressure is going to be put on that back foot to stop 
set in the pocket and even to throw deep balls, he's going to be using that back foot a lot. So that's big for Jimmy Garoppolo, the fact that it was in his right foot as opposed to his left foot. But he's more more than likely uh, missing this week against the New York Giants and the start is going to be given to Nick Mullen. So overall team outlook with all of these injuries happening, the Solomon Thomas, Nick Bosa, Raheem Mostert, Tevin Coleman, Jimmy Garoppolo, George Kittle, Richard Sherman already being out, Debo Samuel on IR. Gosh, that's a lot of names. I, I doubt that this team is going to get back to the Super Bowl just outside looking in right now because that's I know that a lot of these guys may come back in the next week or two. But man, two games is critical in the NFL. That could determine between a bye week or a wild card spot. So for the 49ers, it's going to be tough, especially in that division with Russell Wilson, who looks like an MVP now. Uh, Kyler Murray in that Cliff Kingsbury offense taking a step up and Murray being an MVP candidate as well from the looks of it. It's going to be tough. It's going to be tough for the 49ers.